Would you like to contribute a supplementary or? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I feel very reassured what Bob was saying and I'll pass that on to the other members as well. Thank you. Lovely. Reassurance at a scrutiny committee meeting. Isn't that nice to hear? <laughs> very much indeed. Now let's go to the urgent item of call-in. First of all, just to explain. Uh, one of the main functions of overview and scrutiny under a system of cabinet governance in local government now is the power for members to call in a decision made by the executive and for this committee to examine that decision and to have the opportunity, if it wishes, to give advice to the executive member about the decision that they have taken. Um, the executive met last night and as an urgent item itself it discussed the issue of car parking in Ellesmere Port. And there is a report available tonight uh, which went to the executive, which I hope people have access to. Um, and this outlines the decision that was taken last night. Um, and I called this in along with six colleagues, seven colleagues, um, because we felt that this was a decision that needed more examination. Uh, the reason why I decided it was an urgent issue is because it's to do with the economic development of Ellesmere Port. It's an issue that is of great concern and has been live in the newspapers and I'm sure all local councils have had calls from it. I know members have been talking to the press about it and uh, there have been uh, different views given. And of course this will require legal orders being published, it impacts on the budget in quite a major way. So for that reason I decided it was an urgent issue and uh, should be taken at the earliest opportunity. I have also invited along, and she was able to come at the last moment, Councillor Riley, who's a relevant executive member. So, Councillor Riley, the floor is yours. Thank you, kindly, Gareth. Uh, last night at Executive, we had a, an urgent item before us to consider um, the introduction of a free after three car parking scheme at the town centre car park in Ellesmere Port. Now, this decision was, was brought to us um, largely as a result of inheriting um, a legacy situation from Ellesmere Port and Neston Borough Council who had taken a decision um, at the sort of tail end of 2008 to remove all car parking charges on that but uh, in doing so had neglected to make any adjustment to the budget that they'd submitted under the, uh, the principles of LGR. So when we actually um, sort of came to, to reviewing uh, the sort of budget situation with regards to the portfolio, uh, we found to our dismay that there was a, a very large um, deficit on the budget as a result of this. Now, as an authority and certainly as a new directorate, we have some very ambitious plans for all our areas. We have some very um, ambitious plans to look at uh, overarching policy uh, across the whole of the new authority. And one of the areas that, um, that I've asked my policy development board to look at is a, an overarching policy for car parking. Now that's a review that we've, we've currently started and we are sort of confident that within the next sort of nine, nine to twelve months that we will have completed an enormous uh, amount of work on reviewing um, the, uh, the facilities that we have, the operations we have, very, very complicated, very diverse, as you would uh, imagine, coming from three legacy organisations, and bringing those together into one um, sort of comprehensive policy for car parking. Now, I am firmly of the opinion that car parking needs to be something that facilitates the very lofty ambitions that we as a council have for delivering on far bigger issues than just generating you know, a, few, a few pounds here and there from, from car parking. So that's very much the brief that policy development has. We hope to be delivering on that very, very soon, but unfortunately we are in a situation here and now where we are caught between a rock and a hard place, where there is a big deficit in the budget and that deficit will basically have an impact on our ability to, to deliver within the timescales that I've previously indicated on um, sort of, you know, many, many aspects of really sort of joining together a lot of the, uh, the things that, that this new council is all about. So I am literally um, sort of making or made the decision last night in conjunction with my executive colleagues to plug a gap as a short-term measure to get us to a position where we can make a, a concerted, comprehensive, well-thought-out, 
fully consulted on strategy that will be brought before the people of this new authority and the council of this new authority. Thank you members. The scrutiny committee has decided to offer advice to the executive member and we are advising her that uh, free after three car parking should be extended to all the car parks in Ellesmere Port Town Centre. Uh, we are asking that and supporting a full review of parking across the entire borough to include parking charges, uh, residence parking and parking at partner institutions with an emphasis on uh, environmental sustainability and park and ride systems. And there are other recommendations we're making which will be available on the Cheshire West and Chester website and that was agreed tonight unanimously. Thank you. Oh, and May I ask Certainly. if you would be um, thinking of recommending to the um, executive that they just get on with the current um, notice they've already um, put out for the car parking to be changed to three, up, three after three in Asda car park. Would you be happy for that to be implemented? And are we talking about then having a separate notice Not for the other car Not to start again, parks? just to get on. So to do that and then a separate notice for the other they could, if you, if you allowed it, if you, you know, if you recommended it, they could actually just get on and do that as an urgent action decision. The question is, would, it, would that include, because our advice is to include the other car parks as they well. They have served new notices for the other car parks in any event. Okay. That, that so the procedure will, will be a parallel but slightly jagged procedure. It won't be, it can't, this notice can't apply to those. So you have to say okay, my, my concern might be confusion on that. I, I wonder if it might be better for free after three to be introduced at the same time. I'm just confused. The I mean, it's the Which 21. The notice would have to be withdrawn and they'd have to start again for the whole lot. Yes, but it is a tw it's only a 21 day notice period. Um, so, and what do members think? Okay, our, our advice therefore would be that, that the current one is within a week, introduce them all at the same time um, in, with a 21 day notice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, certainly. certainly. Um, right, thank you very much indeed, members. I think we did rather well tonight, considering the amount we had, and a safe journey home to all. <laughs>